Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Christy Vanaragon. And I'm Colin Lowther. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand no matter where in the world they live. A guard stands alone on the outer walls of a castle. It is very dark. A bright torch burns above him. But it does not give enough light. He cannot see through the darkness. He shivers with the cold. He holds a long spear. It has a sharp metal point at the end. But he cannot keep this weapon still as a guard should. He is supposed to be a brave soldier. But the cold and dark of this night make him afraid. Suddenly, there is a noise to his right. He turns and waves his weapon wildly about. The guard shouts, Who is there? But it is only his friend. Francisco. Both are soldiers of Claudius, King of Denmark. And both are frightened. Perhaps they saw something frightening. Perhaps they saw a ghost. Of course, there never was a King Claudius of Denmark. Francisco and the soldier are not real people. This is the first part of a very famous play called Hamlet. Today's spotlight is on its writer, William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare is possibly the most famous writer of the English language. Many people who speak English have heard or read his plays. Some learn the words to his sonnets, special poems with 14 lines. There are celebrations of his work all around the world. Some actors only act in his plays. To many people, Shakespeare is no longer a man. William Shakespeare has become a legend. He is like the heroes in his plays. Shakespeare wrote his plays and poems 400 years ago in the early 1600s. He was popular during his life, but few writers are still popular after so many years. More than 400 years later, we do not know very much about Shakespeare. Bill Bryson is a writer. He wrote a book about Shakespeare's life. In his book, he said, There remains much we do not know about William Shakespeare. We do not know, for example, exactly how many plays he wrote. We cannot even tell in what order he wrote them. No one has much information about Shakespeare, but we do know some facts. He was born in 1564 at a place called Stratford-upon-Avon, England. He married a woman named Anne Hathaway 
when he was eighteen years old. Some years after that, he left Stratford. He moved to London. There, he joined a theatre group called the Lord Chamberlain's Men. He began as an actor, but he also wrote plays. Soon, he and his friends became very popular. They performed especially for Queen Elizabeth, who ruled England. Shakespeare even wrote a play especially for the next ruler, James the First. This play was called Macbeth. Shakespeare's first plays were about English history. For example, Henry the Fifth is about a war between the French and the English. But Shakespeare also wrote very funny plays called comedies. His most famous plays are tragedies like Hamlet. These plays deal with difficult situations, with love, desire, and revenge. Often they do not end happily. In Hamlet. The hero kills his father's murderer, but he and many people he cares about die in the process. Shakespeare died in 1616 at Stratford upon Avon. In 52 years, he wrote about 38 plays and hundreds of poems. Shakespeare was popular when he was alive, but after he died, something unexpected happened. People continued to perform Shakespeare's plays. At that time, most people did not read, but they remembered his beautiful language. Instead of forgetting about him. People decided they had not seen enough of Shakespeare. Shakespeare never disappeared. Today, people enjoy Shakespeare's plays all around the world. Shakespeare lovers visit his hometown. They even go to visit where he was buried. People who want to read one of Shakespeare's plays have to understand a very special kind of English. Shakespeare's English was not like the English people speak today. He used words that people do not use today. For example, the words orgulous and impetuous. Even many native English speakers do not understand him. This may also be because he invented many words. The English language is very different now, but this is partly because of William Shakespeare. His writing. Influenced the English language. People still use his words and sayings. Hepzibah Anderson of BBC Culture says, "During Shakespeare's 52 years on Earth, he expanded the English language in ways that are difficult to estimate. Without him." Our words would be just so different. He gave us special ways of expressing hope and depression, sadness and anger. Even if you have never read his work, you may have used his words. It is very difficult to avoid.
Shakespeare is not just important to English speakers. Today, people perform his plays in nearly every language. And he is just as important in other cultures. Germany has a long history of performing Shakespeare's plays. Heinrich Heine was a German writer. He lived in the early 1800s. He said, The Germans have understood Shakespeare better than the English. Some cultures use Shakespeare's stories, but do not use his words. They write them again, but in different times or places. Akira Kurosawa was a famous Japanese filmmaker. He filmed his own versions, or adaptations, of Shakespeare's plays. But instead of the history of England, he made them about the history of Japan. He also added elements of an ancient Japanese theatre to his film, called No. The result is a mixture. People can recognise Shakespeare, but they can also see that the films are from Kurosawa. There is probably not just one reason why Shakespeare remains so popular through the world. Some say it is because of the beautiful language that he uses. Others say it is because he is an important part of English history. By now, his work is part of English tradition. But perhaps it is because Shakespeare understood human life. He wrote about situations that affect all people at any time and place. He wrote about families, about conflict, and about love. It has been over 400 years since he was born. But when people watch his plays, it is as if the world has not changed. There are parts of his writing that readers will always understand. And in this, he needs no translation. The writer of this program was Dan Christman. The producer was Bruce Gulland. The voices you heard were from the United States and the United Kingdom. All quotes were adapted and voiced by Spotlight. You can find our programs on the internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called Shakespeare Known and Unknown. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.